and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the Fire Broadcast Center by Nordica. This is an innovation in fiber management in Nigeria. As you may be aware, Nordica is a brand associated with fertility management, with various specializations in the management of both male and female infertility. For those of us who work closely with women across all strata of society in the health sector, we can say with a level of accuracy that fibroids are a major cause of concern that affects women, and oftentimes a contributory factor for infertility. We know that an African woman has 70 to 80% lifetime risk of uterine fibroids by the time she's 50 years old. With such an alarming predisposition, we decided that we needed to bring the best possible technology available to Nigeria. For many women with uterine fibroids, the fear of open surgery has kept many of them to be living with the condition despite the uncomfortable symptoms and the negative impact on their quality of life. At Nordica, we have always embraced innovation in healthcare and with particular emphasis on uterine fibroid management now, we had already championed minimally invasive surgeries with our endoscopic services, which has helped many women remove their fibroids without open surgery. Today, we are making history again. In partnership with Haifu Limited in Chongqing, China, makers of the high intensity focused ultrasound technology, we are able to treat uterine fibroids in a non-invasive manner. This means that the patient can literally walk in and out after we have used Haifu to burn off their fibroids without opening the patient at all. Truly, Nigeria has been put on the global map of countries with this cap capability. On the African continent, this technology is only available in South Africa and Egypt, making Nigeria and Nordica the third in Africa. However, with the introduction of HIFU, we are joining a large family of about 350 centers in 29 countries, and over 150,000 patients have benefited from the technology worldwide. In Nigeria, two people have also benefited from this, in this center. And one of them is with us today. Um, the treatment with HIFU has been proven to be extremely effective in places where this has been utilized. Today, we will introduce you to the technology and showcase a patient who has benefited from this treatment since we installed the equipment only a few days ago. For me, Today is another opportunity to showcase to the world that Nigeria is a destination for world-class fiber care with the introduction of HIFU. Thank you, as we look forward to a robust engagement during this media briefing. Well, um, HIFU is not only effective against fibroids, but also a condition we call adenomyosis. So one of the patients had fibroids, the second one has uh, adenomyosis, okay? So they're just regular women. There is uh, what we try to do, like any procedure, is to find the right kind of people that will benefit from it. So it's not everybody who can benefit from it. So, and that is the only thing that we do to choose the people who we think can benefit from the uh, procedure. Well, I see it. You know, the advantages are numerous, and I see that. Um, a lot of women will embrace this because one of the things that we know is that many women are afraid of doing surgery for their fibroids. Now you have a, a, a technique or a procedure where it's almost, you lie down on the bed with a, it, it reminds me of, uh, sorry, like Neyman entering into the pool and coming out and you are healed. That's what it's almost like. You lie down on a table, this minute, and then you get up after about one and a half hours, two hours, and you're good. And so there is no scar. You don't, we didn't need to open you up. We don't need to do transfusion. You can resume your, your life almost immediately, okay, a few days after. And one of the patients would probably tell you about that, okay. 
And so, um, so it, I think the, the, you don't need anesthesia, you know. So there are a lot of benefits that I think we just need people to know about. And then I see that a lot of people are very likely to embrace it. The way I see that is that one, HIFU will not solve the problem of misconception and uh, it must be awareness, education, we have to keep at that. What IFU is just doing, one, is to, I know so many women, look, in my practice I've seen women who, very educated women, who suddenly collapse, okay? One will never leave my head. I did, I, I did a hysterectomy maybe about 30 years ago or so, 25. And the story was that she was in the market and then she collapsed. This is a very highly placed person. And she just collapsed. And they brought her to the hospital and then she now said, oh, she's been bleeding from fibroids for quite a while. You know, so it shows you the fear that people have about surgery that you can actually get rid of your fibroids without going through surgery. I don't think anybody likes surgery as well anyway. So if you have a choice, you probably will not choose surgery. And, uh, and that's what we're just trying to do. So we might not be able to solve the misconception, we might, but we can do it together, especially with the press. I keep saying how important the press is to health workers because they, we, you guys are the ones who can help us to Tell exactly tell the story and tell the right story. So also is it's also your responsibility also to see that even the story that you guys are carrying are the right stories. There are so many things that are not also not true. So it requires that we sieve the wheat from the chaff, and that's where you also come in. We even the IVF control that we've been talking about since we know that control is, sometimes I tell people, be careful what you pray for. We're a country that is 30 years behind, to be fair. We agree that there should be control on some things. You just don't bring anything into the country. But... If something has been tried in other countries, especially where there is control, and it works, when the only the first thing we are thinking about is control, then we need to be a little bit careful. Because we don't even have facilities to treat our people. There are some things that... <laughs> that I don't want to go into, but we don't really have things that to treat our people. And then we have things that can help them, that have been proven to be safe, and all what we are talking about is control and control and control and control. Sometimes it might be counterproductive. Well, I don't think I have figures. I mean, we even the, for the whole spend on medical tourism is always an estimate in Nigeria. We believe that about annually, we, we spend about two billion. So we, we seriously, we think we might be able to reverse some of this. But really and truly, the first thing is for our people to actually benefit from this. I know it's our people who travel abroad too, but I don't know what proportion of the Nigerian people. But I think also there's a big proportion that go abroad for fibroid surgery as well, because I think generally people are scared. I mean, as a young doctor, I remember... I mean, this is one of the things that made me to... I've been following this technology for over 10 years because when it first started, I watched it evolve before I met you about uh, three years ago. Yeah. yeah, I'd been following the technology from it evolving over time. And uh, so we... Because I see that a, a great number of women are living with fibroids and they're too scared to do anything yeah. about it. And sometimes I don't blame them. Anest anesthetic issues are many, you know, apart from the... Nobody is saying that the doc doctors are not good surgeons. No, it's the support system, you know. It's the support system that usually fails the doctors. And so uh, we, we have been, always been looking forward to seeing how we can save more women. When a woman dies in a household, seriously, hmm, so many things are involved. 
So I think that's majority. We, I don't have the figures, but I'm sure that we'll be able to save one or two lives from this to start with. And then improve quality of life, most especially for a lot of women.